For those of you that are interested, it's 5.43. I've just been back to uh, refuel diesel and our glue. Um, uh, my truck's too big. Uh, what happened this morning? Right. Uh, slept uh, on and off. A bit of a restless night to be fair. Cool enough. I had a fucking fridge unit that's right next to me. Wasn't there when I parked, and he parked up. Some Lithuanian lad. And uh, I wouldn't mind if it was. But he, he must have had it set at a really low temperature because it was fuck. Well, I don't know, maybe not. But it was fucking chugging on and off all night. I wouldn't mind if it, but it was like ten minutes on, five minutes off, ten minutes on, five minutes off, five minutes on, ten minutes off. Do you know what I mean? It was that. It was. And the engine tone wasn't, the engine for the fridge wasn't consistent either. It would stay at one pitch and then it would change and then it would change again. Uh, now I woke up, looked out the curtain and someone parked right in front of me. Oh, for fuck's sake. But thankfully, by the time I moved, was ready to go, a couple of seconds prior to me going, I'm going to have to have a fucking word, he'd moved off. Thank God. So I went in the best of moves first thing this morning. And that was it, quarter to three. Still want to be a trucker. Start work at quarter to three in the morning. So yeah, now I come down the, uh, come out of, stayed at Newbury last night, if you saw that. Uh, came out of there, back in 834, shutting it. So, um, pick up the A303, up towards, uh, on to the M3 up northbound, well northbound, um, eastbound, up a couple of junctions, or one junction I think it was, up to uh, sort of one of the first phases of those junctions. Turn it round and then come back back down again. That adds about, added about 15-20 uh, minutes onto my day. Maybe a bit longer. <coughs> So uh, yeah, then under the dogs, box off, box on, which wasn't too bad. Heavy box. I'm going to uh, back to Manchester. Well, a place called Radcliffe, I think it is. And um, interesting place. Been there before, and I was um. You know, when you learn, I always say tonight, you learn something new every day. Well, this is the day I learned something. Uh, <laughs> Ever wondered why, when you dunk your tea bag, which is made out of paper, how come it doesn't disintegrate unless you really give it a good beat of form on its foot? I'm going to have to uh, do something about that. Uh, Oh, come off the gas then. Um, yeah, I ever wondered why your tea bag just doesn't disintegrate because it's made out of paper, isn't it? You'd imagine if you put paper in the water and give it a good bit of agitation, it'd fall apart. Well, the simple reason behind it is that when they make the paper for the tea bag, when it's at its pulp stage, its liquid stage, right in the early days, a fibre is added. Now I'm going to have to look up what the fibre's called, because I did know it, but I've forgotten it. And it's a plant. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. I did know it, I did know it. stage or the pulp stage, the liquid stage, and then it's obviously dried and stretched and whatever they do to make it into a tea bag. Um, but I've got, <coughs> I'm delivering today, the uh, 
lost the fibre. There is a bit, there is an old picture on my Instagram page. So they're really um, really nice blokes where I'm going. Really nice lads. And um, they were quite you know quite chatty and telling me all about it. So let me take a picture and I'll put it up on Instagram. So you can you can you can see that. I'll see if I'll get another picture today. There was a little while back. Got a fair bit of weight behind her today. So acceleration is um I'm just over the 43 ton mark. If my mass is correct. Look at that lightweight bastard. Shooting on by. And in.
top end speed, but I'm only limited to 52, but, you know, they're quite a talky engine.
trains yesterday. Keep heading north. Last time I went at this place, it was a. Uh, <laughs> you end up going down this really narrow road. And you begin to wonder, but it's one of those places where you go, oh, I hope I've gone the right, come the right way, because this is going to be disastrous if I haven't. One of those sort of places. And uh, I think it's narrower, more potholes. And you think to yourself, oh, I don't know about this. But, you know, it is where it is, it's, a, it's an old mill. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay this time. I know exactly where to go. In fact, you just keep going, and then you you, 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 you hit it because it's the end of the end of the lane. Sweet and bend here. Steady. Camber's in your favour, doesn't mean it can't go horribly wrong though. And away we go! Power down! Bottom now, 8.33. Cruising, uh, cruising speed, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, no, I'm not. nearly there, come, come up, come up, you can tell we're heavy, she's fucking heavy, there we go, 52. Not a 52 in 52 minutes, though. So it should be a pleasant run up. in um, people wanting to have beehives and I can't remember whether it was Marks and Spencers or Morrisons or someone like that, I think it was Marks and Spencers had committed to putting like 200 hives back, you know, uh, building 200 hives uh, or, or making available to or financing 200 hives which is brilliant news but the beekeepers are saying and the beekeeping society is saying that's fantastic news however There isn't enough food or nectar available for those bees to survive on. So, yes, brilliant on what you're doing, but what you need to make available. And we can all play our part in that. By not cutting the verges, because of all those flowers there, it's full of pollen. 
took into a into a into account the uh, running around around the docks and then back to get fuel and slow speeds, lots of stop starting. Which when you you know freight it up, thinks the fuel a bit.
Bolton. Yeah. Leeds, Bolton and Manchester. Yeah, there it goes, doesn't it? 
this one. Just going places. You can go. Well, I've said this before. It's, it's weird how things work out. Sometimes you can be a couple of days all in one part of the UK going backwards and forwards, and other days you. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It comes and you sort of get it in groups. Like this is day two of being in Manchester. And I had three days of being over sort of Cambridgeshire way the other day. Two or three days over there. Yeah, it's weird how it sort of works itself out really. Well, I mind, you know, love a night out. Thank you very much. So, you know, so we make our money as a tramper. I'll be up around here tonight. Not sure exactly where. Okay, concentrating, stay in this lane. So we've got the M62, M61, and the M66, and the M602, and the M60.
I've overtaken him because I haven't got the speed to get by him. I haven't got the acceleration. Some one of these Sharps trucks is, it's the third one I've seen. Sharps, all Scanias, all V8s and that sort of purpley, pinky colour.
certain I'm staying here the other day. Rightly, I had to stop a couple of times along here because I wasn't hundred percent certain I was going in the right direction.
right, there's a plaque on the wall saying um, St John's Crescent, 1890. down here over the river there might be a canal hang a left that's right here yeah, I remember this down here now fucking great river oh, this is the river I go up alongside that I think I started to get a little concerned oh, it's always good when you come to somewhere for the second time and you know more or less where you're going it's always a little bit reassuring little pickers out in force and they look like civvies they look like council fair play to them when you see a sign that says dead end most of the time got this bloke doing in a moffet make sure he's seen me I think he has maybe not coming down here, first time I come down here and I thought, well, it's all sort the of dead end sign. Oh boy, it's not looking good. You have reached your destination on the left. Then I heard that. I saw the state of the road and I thought, you're cobbled. I thought, oh, this isn't good. Good man. Done the sensible thing by 
down in there then. Um, plants, like cow parsley, but they're like look at the size of them on the right here. Jeez. Monsters. Down to the left there is the, oh, another bump. Down to the left is the river. Oops. I get down, up, down here and then I pull up and park and go in, so I'll turn you off when I get up here. Thank you. 